back again to our YouTube channel. So for those that are new to the channel, do well to hit on the subscribe button. Turn up your notification. We have a lot of videos on this channel that could guide you as a new farmer, that can guide you as an existing farmer and how to run the Cartesian business. So do well to hit on the subscribe button. You can like and you can share our videos. Now, presently, I'm in a site where we are constructing a pond. I'm shooting this video from the site. We're almost done with the project. And in this video, we are going to be looking at staffing, a major challenge in the Cartesian business or in farming generally. Now, staffing has been a major challenge. You hear a lot of persons complain about their staff in their farm. And they say, ah, I told him to do this and he, he does the other one. Some of the staff are stealing from the farm. So there are a whole lot of challenges bordering around the staffing and the farm. At every time you go to some farms, maybe you go there today, you see a different set of persons working. The next minute you see a different new staff working there. And when you ask, you say maybe the last staff was not getting it right or did something wrong, like in terms of stealing and some other activities within the farm. So in today's video, we are going to be telling you how to select the right staff in your farm. Now, if you have a farm, and how do you select the right persons that will work in your farm that will give you less of stress? Now, if you have the wrong persons working for you in your farm, you, um, on a daily basis, you'll be noticing stress because one, you are complaining, issues are bordering from right and center in the farm, and you're also losing money because you are paying them as a staff, and also you're not being productive in terms of what they are doing for you in the farm. Now, the first thing to look out for when you are going for a staff in a farm, especially for the new farmers that want to establish a, a big farm. Now, if you are doing a small farm, you are running a small scale farm, uh, staffing might not be an issue for you because you might be the one managing the farm yourself. You come, you feed, you come, you sort, you sell yourself. But when it comes to a big farm, you now need to get staff that can join you in the farm. You need other persons to help you, the person like the farm manager that will manage the daily activities in the farm. You need those that are doing the feeding. You need those that are doing the sorting. If you are, if you are into the hashing, now you now need the breeders that will, that will be in the hashing session. Now those smoking or drying the fish should be there. Also, if you are producing your feed yourself, you must also have those producing the feed. So these are various staff at different capacity. Now, how do you manage this type of staff and how do you recruit the best staff in your farm? Now, what do you watch out for? Now, the first one is background knowledge. Background knowledge, experience is the first one. Now, this does not just have to do with the certificate kind of experience in terms of someone tells you, okay, I read fishery, I read aquaculture in the university, I have a degree in this. Now, this dif is different from those that have practiced the arts. Now, some of these universities, they just do the theory aspect. Now, the person understands, okay, there's a pH level of water. The person understands some one or two things, but yeah, the person has not practicalized or have an, a, a natural experience on how this thing happens with the farm. So this is also an issue. Now, the certificate aspect is good, but getting someone with experience is also better. Now, in the place of the experience, if you get someone with a certificate, it's awesome because the person can be easily trained and the person learn a lot. As Now, well, someone without a certificate will be difficult to even train. You are telling the person A and it's hard to even train that kind of staff. So, go for staff that are satisfied and also you can engage the hands of persons to conduct a proper training for them. Now, here at the Cartridge Farm Enterprise, we also engage in training of staff personnel within the farm. Now, this training helps them to work efficiently at, for the farm and work productively in the farm. So, go out for people with good knowledge and experience in the catfish farm business, in the farm business, for, before you employ them in your farm. Now, the next thing to look out for when you're employing a staff in your farm is passion for the business. Now, most persons go into maybe a work because, ah, I need something to do. Uh, I don't have money. Oh, yeah, I can apply for this position. You go on Facebook, you go on some of the social media app, you see some farm persons, they just put up, uh, we are employing the staff at the farm. And when they put the, the salary amount, and if it looks a bit, some people say, ah, let me go for it. Now, when they go there, there's no zero passion for the business. When they get there, 
time to feed the fishes they are just lazing about they are just struggling so it's also a big challenge go out for people that have passion for the aquaculture business so once you put them on the farm they can work beyond what you even expect them to do within the farm and you will enjoy it as the owner of the farm because there will be productivity in the farm now the next one is honesty now honesty is this is a this is a criteria the character that everyone should possess now if you have a person working for you that is not honest i bet you there will be a whole lot that will go wrong in terms of from stealing from inflating the price of maybe materials he tells you we bought feed at so so and so price and why the price is different from stealing your fishes to sell to other persons so there are so many activities he would want to do so look out for persons that are honest and how do you get the honest persons it might come from recommendations now if you have someone that can highly recommend some of these persons for you it's good to work with them so if you are highly recommended they work very well in your farm so look out for the experience look out for for passion look out for honesty now also the person will have the ability to read and write like i said earlier getting the certificate is very important so the person does not know this is 3 mm and this is 4 mm this is 9 mm someone that could not read and write so many farmers they will just want cheap labor they just get somebody and say i'm paying you this amount this amount once they see it's cheap for them they go for that stuff now not knowing that this person cannot read and write so if you bring a 4 mm feed he doesn't know the one that is 4 mm or 6 mm so that person now needs a whole lot of training retraining for him to function well in your farm so look out for people that are a bit well educated someone that has patience for the business so these are the criteria to look out for when employing someone in your farm if you want your farm to grow well and if you want to do well within the business so employ the right persons to train and retrain your staff so training happens not just once once you bring them to the farm you train them after a, a period you get persons to retrain them so you can contact us with the number of the screen you conduct training for different staff personnel and for efficiency so thank you for joining us in the station now the pond over at the back that we are still constructing the update of the pond will be displayed or we'll be showing you the update on the farm if you want something like that you can also contact us